Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And in this video, I am going to be breaking down everything we know about Obi-Wan Kenobi in Battlefront 2 so far. I'll be rounding up all of his information from abilities, to emotes, to victory poses, to voice lines, to skins... Basically everything we know so far before we do get more information in the coming weeks running up to his release. So let's kick things off with his release date, nice and simple. He's coming on November 28th in the Battle of Geonosis update alongside Geonosis, the 212th Attack Battalion and much more in Battlefront 2. We've got a couple of clips and images of him so far, which do obscure his face, but nevertheless, it does give us a look at what he will look like. So we first got this image of him on one of General Grievous' star cards, and you can see his chin, you can see the side of his head, you can see his shoulder, but basically nothing else. And then wearing the same appearance, he was featured on this Genosis promo art, which looks awesome and really good to see Obi-Wan yet again. But we also got a clip of him in the community update video wearing the same Jedi Master appearance with what appears to be his blocking pose animation. And then we did get a GIF on the community transmission of Geonosis showing an early test of Obi-Wan Kenobi's idle animation. They did specifically state this is from early in development, so things could have changed, but in terms of visually, not so much. Same goes for this animation. It looks like it will be final. And as you can see, he is definitely holding that episode 3 lightsaber, which is used by General Grievous also in Battlefront 2. So in this GIF of his idle animation, they covered up his ability icons with placeholders, or they might not have been any icons at that point early in development. They just put placeholders there anyway. However, the health bar is visible and the health points is 750. Now, I've had a lot of comments on recent videos saying his health points have been confirmed to be 750, but if this was early in development, a lot of things could have changed. They may realize that he needs to be stronger, he needs to be weaker, or he may have stayed the same at 750 when we do play him on November 28th. But a lot of things changed. People speculated Grievous Health was going to be about a thousand. We got a couple of potential leaks. It would be closer to a thousand, but no, it was 800. I think it's going to change. So don't read into this too much. It may change. I'm just saying that right now. So this isn't 100% confirmation. It will be 750 points. So when you've seen Obi-Wan Kenobi in action, whether it be from the films or the TV shows, you will know he has quite a defensive fighting style. And this will show in Battlefront 2. Guillaume, the hero designer at DICE, confirmed Obi-Wan Kenobi is calm and has a really good defensive lightsaber mastery, so we'll do our best to make him feel that way in-game. Now let's move on to his abilities, and the three I'm going to be talking about, whilst I don't have concrete proof these will be Obi-Wan's official abilities, they do come from some info, the credible leaker that has basically been right since before the game even released back at EA Play last year. So, apparently Obi-Wan's first ability will be a mind trick ability, but will work differently to raise it. Similar, but will work differently. And some info states it will be capable of stopping a few of the enemy's abilities, like stop using star cards, rolling, and he's not sure if there's a third thing it could do. He doubts there is, but that should be the final design. So it will stop enemies being able from rolling and using star cards, which is quite interesting. He also states that his second ability is one taken from Luke, specifically Force Push, he believes. He's not 100% sure, he doesn't really know, but it seems like it will be Force Push, which I kind of expected to be one of his abilities anyway, and uh, hopefully there is a slight tweak between his, him and Luke's. If it's the same, I'll be kind of disappointed. I'd like to see something a little bit more unique, but we don't know as of yet. And the third ability is one that allows you to deflect the enemy's blasters whilst advancing slash walking, just like in the movie. Well, you can already do that as, say, Luke and Rey. You can block and move forward. Potentially, this means it will do it more accurately. It's hard to understand what some info is saying. He's not 100% sure what actually happens with this ability. I'd like to see something else happen. Maybe he gets a health boost or something like that. We don't really know. 
it's possible the clip we saw of him with General Grievous from the Community Transmission is that ability active, but I don't think so. I think that's just his standard blocking pose. Next up, let's talk about Kenobi's skins. So his default appearance is called Jedi Master, and this is the one we've seen in all of the footage so far, all of the screenshots and stuff. This is straight from Revenge of the Sith, and it's my favourite look for Obi-Wan personally, so I'm really happy about this. He will also have another skin purchasable with credits or crystals on November 28th, and this is called the Robed Appearance, and this is straight from Revenge of the Sith as well. So here is an early work in progress look at Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Robe skin. This is from DICE's latest community transmission on Geonosis. So as you can see, it's basically his default appearance, but with his robe on top, which is what we'd expect, and I cannot wait to see it in action, it's going to be pretty epic, because we don't have a skin like this in the game so far, so I'm really excited for it. He also has a third skin, the General skin, as seen in the Clone Wars TV show, and this will be releasing in January alongside Count Dooku. Speaking of Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi in Battlefront 2 is going to be voiced by James Arnold Taylor, who voiced him in the Clone Wars TV show and other Star Wars media. Some info has also leaked his emotes and victory poses, so his four emotes are as follows. Hello there. Your move. The strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. More voice lines were also confirmed officially by DICE in a recent community transmission about hero voices. Some of the voice lines you'll hear Obi-Wan say in-game include, So uncivilized, you haven't exactly impressed me today. Your master really should have taught you not to be so impulsive. The way you have with young Skywalker. Touché. <laughs> the advantage is mine, Kenobi. You'd think with four arms you'd have a better grasp on reality. Also, some info leaked these victory poses, Perfect Defense, Shall We Duel, Soldiers With Me, and Fighting Stance. So there you have it, everything we know about Obi-Wan Kenobi as of today for Battlefront 2. He's going to have some really cool abilities, I think. I also believe his skins will look great, especially in that Frostbite engine. And I am really excited to spam the hello there emote when I'm facing General Grievous in Heroes vs. Villains. Remember, Obi-Wan Kenobi will be releasing with Geonosis and his 212th Attack Battalion Clone Troop appearances on November 28th. And there will be a community transmission detailing everything we know about Obi-Wan Kenobi in the coming weeks. I'll have a video on that as soon as it does release. Let me know in the comment section below what you're most excited for from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Is it his emotes? Is it his skin? Is it his fighting style, which is going to be more defensive? Let me know in a comment below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are new around here. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.